What's up guys, welcome back to another video. It's a Brixton video today. And what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna install the tail and brake light and I have to modify the bracket for the license plate. The size of the license plate that I need to write it can vibrate and the license plate will break so i'm gonna reinforce that so we're gonna have to do some additional steps to put on the new tail light but first what we need to do is to modify the brackets make the license plate more stable so it doesn't break and we need to do some preparations for some future modifications that comes with the new tail light that i'm gonna install so First up, uh, modify the bracket, then put the tail light on and then uh, install the license plate. So uh, let's just get right into it. We have a lot of work and it's cold and I'm not really happy about that. But yeah, it's, it's winter time. So this is the bracket that I am talking about this. We, we modified it before. So what happens when the license plate is installed right here? It connects with these two bolts. It can flex because there is no support on this backside. So the license plate flex like this. And what happens with that? It breaks. Now I already got a replacement, a new fresh bracket that I got from my local dealer. But we're gonna do some modifications to make this more stable on this bracket. There was a rubber grommet for people who are gonna say there is a rubber grommet right here to give you more stabilization. Well with the size of license plate holder that I need to use the grommet does nothing. As you can see where the license plate should be there is still room well, a little bit yeah you can see it uh, so there was no hole the grommet was way below there and yeah it didn't do nothing at all so we have to modify this so here is everything we're gonna need the bracket new hardware the old hardware uh, some washers license plate I got this metal tube drills grommets and tape so first thing we're gonna do is install the license plate back on the bracket. Okay, the bracket is on there and as you can see, this can move, which makes the uh, license plate flex and this breaks. That's not good. I don't want it. And even if the bike is running stationary, you can hear the license plate vibrating and it it's, doesn't give a clean noise. So what is the plan? What I'm gonna do? I got the same style of bolts that are in here. They're just these ones. I'm gonna install two of them right here. Now, because there's a gap, I need a spacer. So I'm gonna have to build that and then just drill through this and then the license plate should be nice and secure. So what we first need to figure out is the spacing between the license plate and the bracket. And it's about 15 millimeters. So we need to cut strips of 15 millimeters of this rod, not rod, this tube. So that is what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, I did some work and I got the small pieces that I needed to put in as spaces between the license plate and the bracket. This is how it's gonna work. Uh, we got the bolt, then the license plate is gonna be in between that, uh, washer, spacer, and a nut. Now these are not the nuts that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use self-locking nuts, but I don't have them for the time. So what we now need to do is find out and drill the holes in the bracket where they need to line up. Let's take our washers, put everything to the side, and then just place them in there where they are in a good position okay as you can see there they are now I need to mark it so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use a file and lightly try to score the end so now I'm gonna drill these and hopefully everything fits Oh, 
Okay, the holes look pretty good. Now let's uh, try to install the bracket and see if everything works. Now hopefully everything lines up. Uh, this one is good. I'm gonna put a bolt in here. Let's place these bolts back. Solid as a rock. No vibrations are coming from this. And as you look, all the exact same bolts. It looks so amazing. Factory new. It could look factory. Yeah. I like it. But now we still need to drill another hole. So we need to take it off again. Okay, we got the bracket again. Now what we need to do, the issue with the new tail light is there is no license plate illumination. So no light is hitting the license plate. With the original tail light there was, but on this one there's not. So what we need to do is put a new light on the license plate. I'm not going to do that right now, but what we're going to do is do some preparations. As you can see, if we put the license plate on there, the wires need to go somewhere. What I can do, I can run the wires right here and back to the connections of, uh, with the wires of the tail light. But that looks janky. That's not what I want to do. So what I got is I got these grommets. Now I bought a whole set for eight euros, but here are all different grommets to put in. The one that I'm going to use is this one. So the license plate illumination light is going to have two wires, positive and negative. And if we look, it goes nice and easy through it. And if we have some, some wire cover going over it, then it still will fit through, but I need to install this. So let's get our tape so we can mark it more easy. Go in the middle. Now let's center punch it. Remove the tape. As you can see, I don't know if you can see it. Let me rub it off. Smack down in the middle. Let's check with the license plate where the hole is gonna be. That's in the perfect spot. Let's start drilling. Okay, we got our hole. Let's get our grommet. Try to push it in. Oh my God, look at this. That looks so factory. So the wires can go through there. That is amazing. That is so amazing. So happy with that result. So the license plate holder is modified again. At this point it's heavily modified if I say so myself. What I'm now going to do, I'm going to get the spacers and spray them because I don't want to get rust all over my bike. So I'm going to do that and prepare everything for reinstalling this bracket. So now the parts are drying, I'm going to reinstall the bracket on the bike and make everything ready to connect the tail light and make the bike complete again and rideable again. So that is what I'm going to do. And uh, yeah, cue the time lapse. So we got our wires back, now let's just strip them down, connect them and make the tail light work. And as you can see, all the same colors as before, so this is gonna look factory new. I got some original clamps like these and a nice pair of pliers, 
so I can connect it everything nice and perfectly like in the factory so nobody will notice that it's an aftermarket headlight. I'm so excited to see the new taillight on the bike and it's gonna be wonderful. So let's just crack on and make this look pretty nice. Okay, it's all connected. Look at that factory new finish. If you didn't know this was an aftermarket tail light, you will never see from the wiring. But as you can see, it looks pretty good. And as you can see, the hole that we drilled looks nice and perfect, all factory new. So now let's put back on the license plate holder and the seat and let's see the final result. So here it is, everything back together, new tail light. I feel the, the tail light looks so perfect. The bike is all black now. Six side view. It really matches the, the indicators. It is so perfect. So that is gonna be it for this video guys hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something it was a well, minor job it's more the preparation getting the right tools and the right parts and the right idea how to mount it and get over the stuff that you need to do to make the light illegal here we still need to install the license plate light so uh, that's that's I'm not gonna make a video about that because yeah that's not really that important it's only important if you install the light or this kind of light um but yeah that's gonna be it for this video guys hope you enjoyed it be sure to leave a like and a comment down below if you're not already subscribed to the channel it helps a lot it, it makes me feel good and and make this channel grow hit the subscribe button hit the like button uh, follow me on facebook twitter and on instagram and see you in the next one